What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we got another battery testing video and I got inspired to do this video from doing this one right here. The China Hobby versus the OPS battery. From the results of that video and if you haven't seen that video I definitely think you should check it out. It's right here in the link in the description. The China Hobby battery stayed up with the OPS battery a lot better than I thought. Now of course the OPS battery was still a little better but the China Hobby battery did hold its ground and do a lot better than I thought. The main difference between them batteries is the wire that comes on them. I know the OPS battery is a little different and all, but the main difference is the size wire that comes out the batteries. So we got a 6600 3S 2P China Hobby battery that's stock. This one comes from China Hobby with 12 gauge wire on it. You can see it right there, 12 gauge wire. So we got another battery that's exactly the same. You can see it right here. 6600 3s2p the only reason it looks different is because we got some eight gauge wire put on this one as you can see the difference in the wire right there we got eight gauge wire put onto this battery and this is just a aftermarket sleeve to hold it together i really like these china hobby batteries and i think they're real good batteries especially for the price so we're gonna go ahead and see if adding bigger wire to your battery will give you less voltage drop or you know if it helps your car out better the main thing we're going to be looking for is if we get less voltage drop but we're also going to look at the horsepower the rpms and all that stuff so let's not waste more time we're going to head out to the west bank put these babies in the car do our runs then we're going to come back home and put it on the computer let's not waste more time here we go I think I got a little stuck. I, it, it did something. I wasn't locking the car at the start, but you could hear it. The car sounded like it picked up speed at the finish line. All right, y'all, so now we're about to run the China Hobby battery with the 12 gauge wire. And then, like I said, we're gonna compare the castle log and see if there's any difference with the voltage, RPMs, and everything. Uh, Got a little straighter, huh? Yeah. I just did, that was just a remote adjustment. All right, y'all, so we made it back home and we got the data log on the computer. Just so you guys can see, if you see up here, it says screenshot two, and on this one it says screenshot five. Just so y'all know, Screenshot two, three, and four is the one with the eight gauge wire and screenshot five, six, and seven is the 12 gauge wire. So to start off with, we got the first run. This one over here on the left is the eight gauge wire. This one over here on the right is the 12 gauge wire. So the main thing we're gonna be looking at is the voltage, how much it drops, the RPM, and the horsepower. So for the first run over here on the eight gauge wire battery, we had a minimum of 8.4 volts and an average of 10.1 volts so that means that we dropped about three volts on the hit of the line but we recovered back up to about 10 volts throughout the run as you can see that going on right here over here on the 12 gauge wire battery we can actually see a difference off the jump when we first took the hit, we dropped all the way down to 7.6 instead of 8.4 like we dropped over here on the 12 gauge battery. The, I mean on the 8 gauge wire battery over here. On the 12 gauge wire battery over here, we dropped all the way down to 7.6. But it does look like we uh, recovered a slight bit better by 0.2 of a volt. But... The main thing we're looking at is the voltage drop because when you take a big hit like that off the line, you're basically only running 3S, I mean 2S. So that's a big difference right there from what you're starting with on the line. And with that difference in voltage drop, this one's actually a little crazy because it shows right here that we got 36,000 RPMs with 12 gauge wire battery and 34,000 RPMs with the 8 gauge wire battery. I don't know what happened right there and why that's showing that because that actually should show 
more. Oh, no, that's weird. But there you can see there with the first one, the difference in the 12-gauge wire and the 8-gauge wire. So now we're going to go ahead and look at another run and see if we have different results. All right, y'all, so here we go. We're back. We're on to the second run now. And again, on the left side is the 8-gauge wire battery, and on the right side is the 12-gauge wire battery. And it's actually crazy to see, looking at both of them, there's a difference already. So on the 8-gauge wire battery, we dropped from 8 point we dropped to 8.3 volts and recovered up to 10.5 volts. As you can see, like this was where the car was just sitting. You gas it on the line when you get the green light and the voltage drops down just like that. But then as it's spinning up and getting down the track, it'll kind of recover a little bit. So we did recover up to 10.5 volts right here. But over here on the 12 gauge wire battery, when we did the initial hit, you can see the drops actually a little bit more. We go, we we drop down to 8.4 volts, and then we only recovered to 10.2 instead of 10.5 like the other one. So right here alone, the bigger wire does help you, you know, recover your voltage throughout the run better. But so the one thing that I've noticed so far with the difference in the battery, it is kind of crazy that we're getting more RPMs with the smaller wire. That don't make much sense, but the main thing I was looking at is the voltage and you definitely do recover better with the fatter wire. All right, guys. And for the last one, as you can see right here, we dropped down to 8.3 volts when we took off and we recovered to 10.4 volts. And it looks like we got 37,000 RPMs with 5.7 horsepower. And if we look over to the 12 gauge wire battery, we did drop down a little bit less. I mean, a little, yeah, a little bit less to 8.6. And this run, we actually recovered 0.2 volts higher than we did with the 8 gauge wire battery. And then, but if you look over here, we have less RPMs than we did with the 8 gauge wire battery, but we do have more horsepower. So I'm actually not sure why we're showing more voltage drop with the 12 gauge wire battery and less rpms i mean and more rpms in the 8 gauge wire battery on most of them that is a little crazy to me there's a few things that could they could have been prepped too tight could have had too much prep but um from looking through this stuff on this video i originally thought that it would be it would definitely make a big difference i don't think by looking at the results of this that it makes that much of a difference but the bigger wire definitely helps the, the voltage flow through better so i would think it still makes a bigger difference than we're showing i think i got something kind of wrong here or like i said we made it got stuck in the prep too much but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video make sure to like comment and smash that subscribe button and if you got any questions about anything you've seen in this video or if you and help me and you know maybe why we're showing just a little bit less voltage drop on the smaller wire battery because it definitely shouldn't be like that i don't know what happened but we're going to run this test again on a different car and just see if something went wrong if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and smash the subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one later